What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate your Android build processes using this tool called Fastlane. So Fastlane is a tool by this company called Fastlane or I think it's Twitter that made it or something. So picture this, it's release day and you've done all the work to build your apps, you're ready to go, but you still need to do things like increment your build number, uh, get a ton of screenshots so you can upload to Google Play, upload your app to Slack maybe for the rest of your team or maybe send it to your co-founder of the company and with Fastlane you can do all of that with the push of a button. How? Well <laughs> stick around and I'm gonna show you how exactly to do all of that. So the first thing you want to do is navigate into our project directory. So we do change directory, um, Android Studio Projects, I think I have this under YouTube and Fastlane Tutorial. Okay so this is a git directory that's why it says git here. Now that we're, we are in this directory, we want to start by installing Fastlane. To install Fastlane, we'll go ahead and run sudo gem install fastlane-nv. You can verify it by typing fastlane-version. This is version 2.92.1. Now we want to run Fastlane init, which would initialize Fastlane in our project. So it's asking for our package name. Uh, and this is going to create our app file and our fast file. Um, so our package name is com dot victor open dot my application. But you can set that to whatever your package name is. You hit enter. I'm just going to ask for a pass or a JSON secret file. I'm going to show you guys how to get one of these in a few. For now, we're just going to hit enter to skip it. So download existing metadata. No, uh, we currently have no metadata. We can get that later as well. So we can hit N and it's installing our Fastlane dependencies. So what that did, um, so Fastlane created this directory called Fastlane with an app file and a fast file. So let's take a look at the app file. So the app file just designates what your package name is um, and what your JSON secret key is. So your JSON secret key is the file path to your Google Play Console. So you're going to use that to upload your APK to the Google Play Console. Now let's also take a look at our fast file and we'll open this up in Sublime Text. So our, our fast file is what we're really going to be focusing on the next video but it essentially designates different lanes so for example we have a test lane and that lane can perform certain actions such as a uh, gradle task test a gradle task clean then assemble release uh, a crash lytics probably uploading your beta application to crash lytics a deploy new version to google play that you can upload your apks to the google play store well, that's it for this one to recap what we did in this video was installing fastlane and taking a look at our app file and our fast file in the next video we're going to explore how to write our own lane to be able to perform certain actions that are specific or to our project